Welcome to Little Project. So this smart key quickset padlock was sent to me a long long time ago by Pygmy1977. Buddy, thank you very much for this very very nice lock. So um, I have to apologize and I'm really upset with myself that this lock is not working anymore. I tried to pick it open uh, many 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 hours with no success um, and then I tried to rekey it. You, have something you can put something in the slot here and then uh, you can change the bidding and I messed it up so the original key does not work anymore the other key that I tried to uh, set the um, uh, internals uh, to the bidding does also not work so now we, I've got a, a lock laying around um, that is brand new that was sent to me by a good lock picking buddy, pick me 1977, and the lock is not functioning anymore. Cannot pick it, doesn't work. I will try to get it open with a grinder and with other power tools, and then I will look inside. Hopefully, I can extract the core, um, and then I will see what's going on in this lock. So, wish me luck, and I will back. I will be back with a result. Hopefully. Welcome back! So the lock is back in working order. Opens and closes and is locked up. Yeah, what I did is I removed the plastic cover, I ground down the heads of the rods, I removed the first two layers here and then I grabbed the heads of the rods with my vise and hammered against the top of the lock. Um, yeah, to get these rods out, um, it's a pretty pretty difficult thing to do because they are press fit in, in the holes of these layers. But I managed to do that and in the process of doing it, I collected all the parts that fell out of this lock. And yeah, when the uh, core was out, I could extract the, the plug and change the bidding again um, to meet the bidding uh, on the key. So now the core works again with the original key. Yeah, and then I had to solve the mystery or the, uh, the puzzle of getting all the things back together, which is quite a, a tricky thing to do with two springs involved and uh, you have to uh, um, uh, follow a specific order to do that and this uh, well, was a, a thing of try and error, but finally I managed to get this lock back together. And then I used uh, a thick rod to hold the, the layers in place. Finally, I put on the plastic cover, so now lock is back in working order. Yeah, pretty cool thing. Um, what I'm going to do now is I will remove the plastic cover again and I will gut this lock for you so that we can have a look at the internals and see the individual parts and uh, hopefully understand how all this uh, works together. So, see you in the next part. So I've taken off the plastic cover and inserted two temporary wires to um, take it apart more easily. Yeah, so I hold it with my hand and bend these wires so that I can remove them. What? And that's the second. So there's pretty strong spring tension from the shackle spring, and when I take off the first two oops plates that spring jumps on me and it's somewhere laying around. Let me see if I can find it quickly. Yeah, found the spring. Here it is, that's the shackle spring. Um, and the first two plates are to uh, hold the shackle spring in place and that's the end plate. So I put this to the side and also the shackle spring. And now we can see the uh, uh, the chamber for the uh, longer end of the 
uh, for the uh, yeah for the longer end of the of the shackle that's connected to the shackle spring. Um, and we can now separate this here at this point. And here is the the lower part. Um, that's the stack of layers that hold the plug. And we can see how this is done. Um, the plug is secured with a clip, and the clip is um, pinned with a roll pin. Let's take the pin out. So that's the that's the pin. And now we can slide out this clip, and now the plug should come off. We can see three cutouts here. Uh, adjust the lighting a little bit. We can see three cutouts here that match the pieces that stick out on the on the plug. One, two, three. So put this to the side. Yeah, that's the uh, the core, not the plug. Sorry. And when we insert the key, we can rotate the plug, and here we can see the sidebar. Yeah, to fix the the core where, um, at the state where the key didn't work anymore, I removed the clip at the end, and I could then pull out the plug by the help of a screwdriver. You just have to make sure that these uh, I don't know how to say these sliders uh, don't stick out uh, too much, and then you can just pull out the plug and uh, fix the bidding. I will show you how it looks inside this core at another video when, <laughs> when I'm able uh, to pick it. But for now I put it to the side. So that was the, the part with the plug. And now I want to show you the part with the shackle. So I used the plastic cover as a stand. Um, yeah, that's the part with the shackle. and. This plate here is special because it has this uh, lengthy uh, cutout to accept the clip that we just have seen that secures the core. So I take this off. And by the way, um, it's very nice that the distance between two holes is the same on three edges but not on the fourth. Here's the distance a little bit uh, wider, so more space between the holes, and so this makes it easier uh, to re <coughs> to reassemble the lock uh, when you um, mixed up the orientation. So that's pretty good. Okay, take this off, and now we can see uh, we can see the the shackle, of course, and the cam. Now these layers are all the same. I also put this to the side. And now comes a special layer um, that is to restrict the turning motion of the cam. So you can see that there is a, um, a cutout here, uh, a round cutout, so that when the uh, actuator turns, it can only turn uh, this amount and then it stops. And the shape of the end here, of the end of the actuator, fits to the shape of the end of this plug. So this goes in like that and so you can uh, turn the actuator by turning the plug. Yes. Alright, I take this also off and now we can see the Bulbarian uh, and the round parts of the actuator um, that can, that will accept the Bearing when the lock is in the uh, open state. I just need to adjust the lightning. So, yeah, let's open up the lock, see how this works. I just need to turn. I do it with a uh, pair of pliers. So now the lock is in the open state, it's unlocked. Yep. 
So now let me remove the the barbarian. One and okay, I removed the actuator first to get out the second barbarian. So that's the actuator. That's the um, um, the bottom of it. Uh, looks like a a normal uh, screw, and that's because it interacts with that spring here. And that spring is uh, used to rotate back the, the key automatically when you close the lock. So when you, when you open up the lock, um, that spring is under tension. And then when you um, close the shackle, um, the key turns automatically back in the uh, closed state. And that's the, um, the job of the spring. So get these layers out also and now we can see how the uh, spring is um, held in place so there is a, a round cutout here on the top that accepts the end of the spring and this part here in the middle of course is to um, stick in this uh, slot here at the bottom of the actuator yeah so that's actually everything that this lock, um, how, uh, all the parts of this lock, uh, here we can see all the parts uh, at a glance. Let me put them all together. Here we have the plug and all the plates. So, yeah. That was uh, a little adventure with a laminated padlock, gutting and uh, fixing the core and reassembling. Yeah, a lock that is actually not meant to be taken apart and reassembled, but was a lot of fun at the end. <laughs> All right, so I say thank you very much for watching, happy picking and bye bye. And now you can watch me uh, getting this lock hopefully back together. So here we go, the lock is back in working order, locked up, open, and closed. <laughs> Alright, that's it, cheers and bye bye.